six figure salaries pretty limited competition and jobs that range from companies in big tech to finance to just about anything in between. Why aren't you becoming a data engineer? What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video with me, Ben Rojan, AKA the Seattle data guy. Today, we're going to talk about the reasons why you should become a data engineer. For those of you unaware of what a data engineer is, here's a quick TLDR. Data engineers essentially take data and move it from one place to another and place it into some sort of analytical storage system that allows other data specialists like data analysts and data scientists the ability to analyze it easily and also create the core layer of data that easily allows different data sources to join across each other in order for, again, analysts to get a lot more context out of the information that is stored. So instead of just looking at like finance data or operations data by itself, you can start mixing it all together and figuring out how everything correlates. Data engineers are really the first layer of people that touch the data and help process it in such a way that makes it useful to everyone, not just to the systems that are utilizing them. But besides the practical reasons in terms of becoming a data engineer, such as finance and limited competition, why else should you become a data engineer? In this video, I'm going to talk about why I enjoy the field of data engineering, the various aspects of it, the various kind of goals and tools that we get to use. So here are the reasons why I enjoy data engineering and why you might enjoy it as well. First, you enjoy the big picture in terms of the fact that data engineers kind of get to play this role where you get to see the whole end to end data life cycle. You get to see how data works from one side in terms of the software uh, application side and how it gets processed and then eventually gets put into some final analytical layer. So you're forced to understand not just again how the software or application works, and all the business logic behind it, but also you're forced to kind of understand how to translate it in such a way that makes it very easy for analysts to use because you need to understand the analyst use case. You need to understand what granularity do the data analysts need their data at to be the most effective while also understanding how the software developers have essentially created their databases and other systems in such a way that you can still capture all the information that's required. Is that system purely a snapshot in terms of the fact that, you know, it just updates the data in the table and then you kind of lose out any historical information or does that table store all historical information and do you need to manage duplicates in some way or another on top of that you also need to understand in terms of the data analyst and data scientists or whoever's using that data how often they might need to use that data do they need to pull it every day every hour do they have a model that's live and you need to be putting live updates of data every few seconds to it this forces data engineers to not just understand their data pipelines but the whole workflow this is why i think i often also see data engineers often float in between a data engineering role to some sort of solutions architect role because we often play this middle ground where we have to understand the whole system and not just one very small component of it. So if you like thinking bigger picture, so if you like thinking about systems, I think being a data engineer is a great role for you. Personally, that's why I think I tend to lean towards data engineering because for my second point, I was going to say you are a recovering data scientist. Now, for some reason, I think I've seen this moniker at least three or four times on LinkedIn where it says recovering data scientist dot 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 data engineer or something very similar where people who really wanted to or maybe at some point really were data scientists kind of ended up switching their careers into being more of a data engineer. And I think what generally ends up happening is you realize you really enjoy the data aspect of it, but you also really enjoy kind of the automation components. You enjoy programming. You really enjoy system design. You enjoy a lot more than just the analytical and statistical components of data science, but you also like building systems. And so that's something that I think separates data scientists and data engineers. I mean, besides obviously the backgrounds, I think also data engineers, I think tend to like building things a lot more. This isn't to say that data scientists don't, it's just to say that their role is not as geared for it, depending on what company you work at. There are plenty of companies that I hear data scientists mentioning that they have to do way too much programming, especially around infrastructure, and they don't necessarily enjoy it. And they'd much prefer doing a lot more of the analytical work in comparison to data engineers who I think really just like to do that kind of infrastructure development. We like to automate things. And that's kind of my third point here is another reason you should maybe consider being a data engineer is if you like developing automated systems that really take data from point A to point B. And it really doesn't just have to be around data. If you just like automating workflows and automating different processes, this could be a great role for you because that's most of what we do. We automate everything from monitoring to data management, to data movement, to data quality checks. We even sometimes get the opportunity to implement ML models and statistical models into our data pipelines that the data scientists have created. So if you're really into optimizing and automating systems, this can be a great role for you in terms of getting to do this work every day. Every day, you're going to find new systems you get to automate. You're going to find new problems you get to tinker with. And 
other issues and opportunities that come up on a daily basis that allow you to really just try to solve various puzzles and problems that help you take data from one point to another. Sometimes you're dealing with a problem where you have to optimize workflows because the data is just taking way too long to get from one system to another. So you need to figure out how can you circumvent the current system's limitations, or do you need to switch to some sort of streaming component? Do you need to think about distributed systems? All these various kinds of technologies that you really get to work with, understand, and just test every day. As data engineers, we are constantly forced to be on the cutting edge in terms of what tools exist and what solutions are out there that can help us solve this massive data problem that keeps growing on a daily basis. Whether it's figuring out how to manage all the various data sources in one centralized system or figuring out how to just process a data set that's way too large for one workflow to handle and you need to figure out how you can distribute the processing over multiple nodes. All of this forces you as a data engineer to constantly be keeping up with the various technologies that come out and it's really kind of fun. You get to really tinker with just about everything, you know, whether you're trying to test out some older or more open source tooling or looking at some of the new modern solutions that are coming out on a daily basis. It gives you so many opportunities just to see what other people are thinking of in terms of how they are trying to solve the major problem that is big data. Which brings me to my fifth and final reason why you should become a data engineer, which is you like data. Like you kind of have to really enjoy data at the end of the day in order to become a data engineer. I've heard this a few times in terms of like, how do you figure out who is a good data engineer? And oftentimes they reference this as some sort of like data sense in terms of the fact that you kind of just generally like data and you have a general idea of how it flows, moves, how transactions and events inside of a system represent day-to-day -day events, as well as complex interactions between various entities, whether that be people, cars, machinery, all of this. If you enjoy thinking about data in that way, where it's again, not just about the people, but also how all that data kind of comes together and how you can meld that all together in such a way that someone can create clear analysis from it. Honestly, I think being a data engineer, might be the right path for you. At the end of the day, it's important that you take a moment to smash that like button and consider the fact that data engineering might be the right role for you. Data engineering is not for everyone. Some people find it boring. Some people don't necessarily like working with data as much as all of us data engineers do. But honestly, for those of you who like not just thinking about the analytical side of things, but also like trying to develop systems, data engineering is probably right up your alley. And this is coming from someone who really thought data science might be the place he would like to work. I honestly spent a ton of time writing articles on Medium, on things like ensemble learning and other things that are very data science focused because that's where I thought I was going, especially after college, because I'd taken some courses on computational neuroscience and bioinformatics. And I was like, wow, I really like this whole combination of programming and statistics and some data visualization courses that I had taken. And so I thought that's where I would head. But when I got into it and when I started doing the work, I really found myself really falling in love with data engineering. It's personally a lot of fun. And right now it seems to be blowing up, whether I'm reading articles on Medium or looking at the hundreds of millions of dollars that are flowing into various startups like Fivetran and Airbyte, all focused around ingesting data or looking at something like Snowflake, which is essentially mostly a data warehouse company, AKA a data engineering company, all of which just kind of show how much money is flowing into this space. So if you're interested in data, but you're not really sure if data science is right for you or you kind of found that you don't necessarily like it, consider looking into data engineering. And with that, guys, that's the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.